um, a toast then to um, to more butt smacks, mate. Uh, did you? Uh, am I? Did you just give a toast to butt smacks? Your ears betray you. I said no butt such. Butt smacks! Thing. Bloody hell! Bloody hell, Houndy! You are a bloody gem. <laughs> You spoke in my tongue. I simply returned the gesture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your volume is beastly. <laughs> Your... I do not <laughs> just <laughs> but... <laughs> Oh, bloody hell, howdy. And then, and everyone is just yelling, and then they kissed. <laughs> it's Chekhov. And then they kissed! Welcome back, my legends. And today we're going to go back to Apex Shipping. And today we're going to analyze the Fuse Hound ship. Now, just like every ship, this thing became popular when two characters just happened to be talking to each other. Oh, they Frank, look at them sparks. But in this case, it happened in the Apex Legends Twitter comics, where we see a panel where Bloodhound and Fuse are having a toast for a job well done. And Fuse just so happens to learn Bloodhound's language. And as a gesture of gratitude, Bloodhound tried to speak like Fuse. And well, it ended with Bloodhound giving a toast to Buttsmax and Fuse and Bloodhound basically having a good laugh because they couldn't believe that Bloodhound just said that. And it was just a nice moment that people found very cute. And this is how Fuse Hound became a thing. So what's very interesting about Fuse Hound is that ever since season 8, Fuse and Bloodhound had gotten closer. Your planet's dying, people displaced, and Hammond installs a giant ice cream maker. <laughs> Leave it to Hammond to ruin ice cream. Did you just laugh and joke? I'm, I'm about to get misty eyed over here, mate. To the point where even Bloodhound is laughing at Fuse's jokes. Now, this is very interesting because Bloodhound is not a very social person. They keep to themselves, and even in the Broken Ghost Quest, when all the legends were arguing about who the traitor was, Bloodhound just kept to themselves and stayed away from the whole situation and basically said that it's not their problem. Now, all this really changed when Fuse came into the picture. Now, what was so interesting about Fuse that might have caught Bloodhound's eye? Well, well, my theory is that Fuse kind of reminds Bloodhound of their loved one, Boo. Now, for those of you who didn't read the Pathfinder's quest book, in Bloodhound's chapter, we get to learn about him. Basically, Boo was a tracker trophy hunter that Bloodhound fell in love with. And unfortunately, what happened is that Boo kind of died. Now, I'm not going to say how because that's a long story. But basically, Boo died a dishonorable death. And because of that, Bloodhound made it their mission to fight in their honor and get kills to please the old father so that way boon can join them in the halls of valhalla one day now this is what makes the ship very interesting because fuse also has a similar story to bloodhound because fuse kind of dedicated their life into helping maggie become a warlord now now this is very important because if you look back at the season 8 cinematics it's very clear that fuse was always distracted and felt like he was missing something from his life it's the reason why in the season 8 comics he said that the games make him feel alive and that he found his own place and that he spent a whole lot of years not being able to say that because he spent all his life trying to help maggie's dream become a warlord reality that he never did his own thing it's the reason why fitzroy also says that he's always been proud of her why can't she be proud for him for once so this is why the few sound ship is so interesting because these two characters have a very similar story both bloodhound and fuse were living their lives for someone else bloodhound is currently doing that with Boone even though Boone's not alive and Fuse basically did that for Maggie his entire life until he decided to join the games and do something for himself. Now this is where I like to see the Fuse Hound relationship go. I would like for Bloodhound to tell Fuse why they joined the games because I don't think any legend knows either than Pathfinder but point is is that when Fuse hears the truth of why Bloodhound's in the games I feel like Fuse is going to be disappointed in Bloodhound because just like 
confused, Bloodhound is not living their life that they want to live. Bloodhound is living their life for someone else, in this case Boone who's dead, to honor him by fighting until Bloodhound dies, which I think Fuse is going to have a big problem with this because Bloodhound didn't join the games because they wanted to like Fuse did, they joined the games because they had to. So even though these characters are very similar and have a lot of things in common, can Bloodhound let go of their beliefs and move on to someone else? Because it's very clear Bloodhound enjoys having Fuse around, so what's stopping that? Well, it's just Bloodhound's beliefs. Can Bloodhound let go of those beliefs and be with somebody they're happy to be with, or are they going to keep on fighting until they die just so they can be with Boon and Valhalla, if it's even real? So yeah, my legends, that'll do it for the religious humanist ship. It's a very rare ship, despite both of them enjoying each other's company and having a lot of things in common. Because of their strong difference in beliefs, they're probably not going to end up together, unless the other one changes their mind. Thanks for watching, my legends, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.